Hey YouTube, it's Bullet Envy. Figured I'd make you uh, another video. I've been trying to make this video for like two months now and I just couldn't get around to it. Life's busy. But this channel is geared towards, you know, guns, prepping, all sorts of that stuff. And I guess this falls under the prepping category. This is my take on a solar generator. And I put this together myself. There's a bunch of YouTube videos with these everywhere, but this is my own take on it. I watched a bunch of videos, built this about five years ago, and just kind of made my own little version of it. And this is actually a Harbor Freight case. It's their version of the Pelican case. It was like 65 bucks. Bought this, drilled some holes. Here we are. So I'm just going to go through and just kind of let you guys take a look on the inside, outside, give somebody else some ideas. All right. So we're going to start at the front. Got all these switches here. This is my master switch. And each of these other switches corresponds with the lights. It's the way I wanted it, everything on the front. So you could actually use it while you were carrying the handle. So as you see, well, I just did something a minute ago. Those aren't supposed to work without this being on, but I'll figure it out later. So right now it's just a rogue switch that does nothing. So left switch, left lights. I wanted a more concentrated beam on the sides so that when I was carrying it, I could use it as a little spotlight. On the front, I wanted it more wide because when you're sitting it on a table or a campsite or whatever, just kind of spreads out a little bit more and then same thing on that side for lefties okay and then we come up here to the top that is the switch that turns on the voltage meter it's a pretty cool little meter it's only like 16 bucks on amazon but voltage of your battery the amperage that you're actually using the watt hours and then the actual watts so you can turn the light on or off so that switch is for that coming over here this is the switch for my charge controller because this is a solar generator so you have to have a charge controller in it this gives power to these and I put, well, put these little things on so that you could run wires through here. Well, takes a good minute. There's a little hole right in there. I don't know how well that's going to come up on camera, but slide your wire in there, positive, negative. You can charge a car battery or whatever. And turn it on, you got power, turn it off, there's nothing. Got one on each side, so if you happen to do some sort of daisy chain and had enough power to this box, you could do two. I just didn't want to waste space, so they came in a two-pack, I put two in. Why not? This switch does the inverter. So this is a DC power box. I put an inverter, I think it's a 500 watt. But when you flip this switch, it turns the inverter on, and then you've got AC power. You can plug in fan, whatever. And it has multiple charge ports. So this is for your solar panels, like 100, 200 watt panels. And then on the back side, I have two more. This one is meant to be charged by just something like that, battery tender. And then this one 
chargers with a solar panel if you have these connectors. Just wanted multiple ways of charging. Or of course you could just pop the top and hook alligator clips onto the battery. So I will plug this in. It charges pretty fast actually considering it's just like a motorcycle battery tender. And this, you know, has something in it to where it won't overcharge the battery. So you don't even have to worry about it. You just plug it and go. And then when you're charging with solar, that's what the charge controller does. Okay, so. That's pretty much all the features on the outside. You can lock it up if you need to, if you got kids. All right, now I'm going to open it up and let you guys see the inside. Actually, before we do that, one more feature I didn't show. This is on the side. It's got a small voltage meter on it, which I didn't need, but this thing came with it. You got your USB, cigarette lighter, green's my favorite color, why not? So if you didn't want to use the power for the inverter, you could use cigarette lighter, USB right there. Okay, now we're going to go to the inside. Okay, here's the rat's nest. I know there's a lot of electricians out there that are just dying seeing all this. because It looks like a jumbled mess, which kind of is. But made it five years ago. This was my first time doing anything like this. I could do better now, but you know, time is an issue. So we got a 35 amp hour battery. We just got the Ys. It was 65, 70 bucks on Amazon. And then I put these blocks, which are actually kind of cool. I don't know how well you could see that, but my negative wires. For these two things go there and then i have another one back here that goes for everything else kind of ties it together and then that shim is actually for voltage meter and it's all fuse protected keep extra fuses in here just in case this fuse block was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Super cool. I don't know if I can put this one in. There we go. Oh, got all the fuses in there. Everything is wired up. I know it's hard to tell, but it's all wired up to the fuse box. I just put some plywood on the bottom just to kind of give it structure and to screw the battery down too. Then we come over here, there's, just let you guys take a look at the switches. That's the master switch, the lights. And then we come over here, we've got the charge controller and the inverter down there. And then this thing is pretty cool actually, but just took up a lot of space. That is for those. Little clamps to kind of hold the wires. Okay, so the switch back here, if I can find it, is for the charge controller. I really like this one. $30 on Amazon. This is the best one that I've found. I even have three backups for this because I liked it so well. And they don't make this exact one anymore. They, they got a version of it, but I like this particular one. Got your USB here, just in case. Got some DC power. It came with two little plugs. So, it's nighttime. There's no solar hooked up to it, but... It'll show little different symbols when it's charging, and this keeps this from overcharging and damaging your battery. 
this is the button to turn these, the power to these on. Okay, so turn that off. And this button over here, switch, turns on the inverter, which, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you see the little green light? So it's on. So you can plug things into that right now. And if you shut it, that's how much the inverter runs. A little under three watts, 0.2 amps. And then let's turn that off and turn the charge controller on just by itself. And that barely uses anything. So, and you plug up a solar panel to this in full sun. I mean, it does not take long to charge at all. All right, so that's my version of the charge or the solar generator that I put together. It's, it's a lot. Maybe one day I'm going to make a better one. I just wanted to take a second and let you guys just kind of look at it, pause it if you need to. Just wanted to share this with whoever might care. Or I know they got them. You can buy them for like four or five hundred bucks, but this one maybe took like two hundred to make. Two to two fifty. And it's cool to do something like this yourself. You know, okay, and then just drop it. These latch. I'm actually going to turn the lights off and let you guys see the lights real quick. All right, there's just the front two lights, and then. So you can tell how much more concentrated it is right there, putting the lights on top of each other. I actually use these lights in my greenhouse too because they use literally no power. It's like half a watt. So you can kind of see it sitting there. It's about how much light it puts out. You know, it's good if you need it. Just the side. Okay, so I'm going to turn all the lights on real quick and just actually turn that off. Okay, now we're not using any power. One light. Wattage didn't change. Two lights. Three lights. Actually, it's a total of six bulbs, but... As you see, it's not using anything. So you could literally leave these lights on for days and it wouldn't drain this battery. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just figured I'd share it with you. I think it's pretty cool, even if it is a little bit messy. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Try to be nice, guys. All right, have a good day, gentlemen and ladies.